good morning student and welcome to your online classes i am arvind francis and i am your english teacher today we shall continue with the chapter meeting season yesterday we started this and we have studied till paragraph number 9 today we shall proceed with it so let us start it was yanin baba she cried he threw it into the fire the table top the drawing so when uncle bruno came a man told the uncle bruno that it was yanin who threw the table top into the fire and what was there on the table top there was a drawing done by a famous painter who came to the inn to have dinner with some of his friends Did you tell him about it? A man then, Uncle Bruno asked. Then Uncle Bruno asked, a man then, a man then is the daughter of Uncle Bruno. Did you tell Yanni about the table cloth? Did Yanni know that he sketches something on the table cloth and leaves it behind for us? A man then looked at me. A cheek. Wet with tears, I thought she was going to lie, but she didn't. Then Uncle asked a man whether you told Yanni that Thursday whenever he comes and has dinner, he, he sketches something on the table cloth. Then a man tells she says, she put her head, she put her head down and she starts weeping. As soon as she starts weeping. Uncle Bruno he thinks that she is going to lie, but she did not lie. No, Papa, she said, lowering her head, and she accepts that she has made a mistake, and she tells her father that no, I did not tell Yanni about that. Thing. That person sketches something on the table cloth. Then you shouldn't blame him, should you? Then the father tells the man. Then you should not blame Yanni for it because he did not know what is there on the table cloth. So by mistake, he threw the table cloth into the fire. So why are you blaming him for something that was your fault? Say sorry to Yanni now. She murmured it, but didn't raise her eyes. Then Uncle Bruno she put it. He told the man that now to say sorry to. Yanni. Then she said, she murmured, and she did not say clearly that I am sorry. She murmured, and she did not raise her eyes. Uncle Bruno put his arm around me. Never mind, Yanni. He said. He said he particularly liked his film role. Then Uncle Bruno he wanted to console uh, Yanni, and he put his arm around him and said, Never mind, Yanni. And then he proceeded and he said, he said in a particular, particularly he liked Tim Gulley. Uncle Gulley said that person came here, that there is Peter and has dinner. He liked the Tim Gulley that he prepared, the dessert. Tim Gulley made the dessert. You made it, didn't you? So the drawing was for you. So the drawing which he did on the table cloth, it was for you actually. It was not for me because we have made the dish and it was excellent. And he liked the dish very much. Really, always do on the right side for a moment. Always do on the right side. Me look for good things in bad situation. This is the way. You have a drawing that was made for you by the greatest painter in the world. Then Uncle told. Yeah, and that you should always see the positive side. You threw the table cloth into the fire, and that person had made a drawing. And that drawing actually, it was not for me; it was for you. And that drawing was by a great painter, a very famous, renowned painter in the world. That something you will never. Later on, as I came out of the bathroom, I heard. After this incident is over, he went to the bathroom and when he came out, he 
Are you Mashiya, the famous painter? I asked. I mean, can it? He seemed a little puzzled. And the beginning said, what is this boy asking me? He seemed a little bit puzzled. So I went on. Then this boy, Yanni, he kept on saying something. My mother says, you are the greatest painter in the world. And my mother told me that you are one of the greatest painter in the world. He smiled and then laughed. I think your mother is probably right. And then he said, he smiled at the young boy, that is Yanni. And he said, I think your mother said the right thing, that I am the greatest painter in the world. You clearly have a wise mother, but why did she let a young lad like you come wandering here on his, on his own? Then again, uh, this painter, he says, he tells Yanni, why did your mother allow you to come here alone? You are a young guy, why did you come alone here? I explained why I had come and what I want. And then Yanni, he explains and he tells this famous painter, why he had come over here to meet him. He looked at me with furrowed brow and said, furrowed brow means a wrinkled brow showing confusion. You are a little bit confused. And then he said, I remember you now from, la from last night. Then this famous painter, he recognizes the and he said that, oh now I remember you. Last night we had met. Of course, I'll of course I'll draw another picture for Bruno. And then he says, Yes, I will definitely draw another picture for Bruno. What, what would he like? No, better still, what would you like? Then he realizes that yesterday he had gone to the inn and he had dinner there and after having dinner he had to desert that is Trimbole and then he says no no I will not draw a picture for Bruno I will draw a picture for you and what would you like to be drawn I like sailing boats and Yanni says I want sailing boats please draw me sailing boats I said can you do boats then Yanni asks him can you draw boats and then the famous painter says, I'll try. He replied with a smile. It didn't take him long. He grew fast, never once looking up. So why he started drawing and this making the boards didn't take long for him. But as he walked, he asked me about where I had seen sailing boards. So why he was born, he asked Yanni, where did you see sailing boards actually, which you want me to draw? About where I live. Then he said, About where I live in Paris. He said he loved Paris and sailing boats too. And then Danny says, I saw sailing boats in Paris. And again, this famous painter said that I also like Paris. Then he said, Telling the sheet from my skin boat and showing me. What do you think? Then painting is completed. He did it here. He tears the sheet from the sketchboard and he shows it to Yanni. See, this is what I have drawn. What do you think about the drawing? Four sailing boards were racing. This was the drawing of the drawing. Four sailing boards were racing over the sea, out and beyond a lighthouse. Just as I had seen them in Brittany. Written in a coastal town in northwest France. So he said that I have drawn here four sailing boats and they are uh, they're racing over the sea beyond the lighthouse. And this scene he has seen in Brittany. Brittany means he has seen in a place in France. And that scene he drew and he showed it to me now. But I saw he signed it to catch it. And then Yanni is saying that I saw in the drawing that at the bottom of the paper it was signed over there as, as Picasso. Picasso and who's Picasso? A Spanish sculptor and painter who was considered one of the great.
greatest artist of the 20th century a very great painter and sculptor this old famous painter actually he was picasso <coughs> so this is the completion of the chapter sorry i have written i thought the name was zan i said he smiled up at me how i wish it was he said sadly then he added of you go and then he said to her yani said i thought you were actually zan and then this picasso smiled at yani and said how uh, how i wish it was and then he told him god now you can go from me of you go now means now you can go back to your house so this is the chapter meeting zan so now you take a copy i will give you a uh, reference to context question number 4 please take a copy yesterday we had done three of we are doing four actually and one to three four actually question and answer but number 4 it is reference to
Thank you. 